Wonderful. You now know pretty much everything you need to know about modifying an existing style or collection of style sheets in Campaign Cartographer to customize your map. Let's just draw out white on this now. And you can see that our ship looks really quite professional. We now can output this beautifully rendered map to a JPEG or a bitmap. To do this, you click on File, Save As, and then select the type of file. I'm going to save this one as a JPEG file. I'm then going to click on Options, and I'm going to select the dimensions. Now, 6,000 is way too big. I'm just going to make it 2,000. So that's how many pixels across it is. It will crop the image to the aspect ratio. So in other words, uh, we know that this uh, image is, is wider than it is tall, so it'll crop the height accordingly. Um, I'm going to make my JPEG quality 100% because I really want this one to be a nice output. And then click on OK. Give it a file name. Scout ship 1. And save. You can see that the uh, campaign card doctor is now rendering our design using all of those beautiful, rich styles and effects. This can take a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your machine. Also, for those of you with fairly slow machines, you might find that running or designing with the style sheets turned on is quite slow. For this reason, what I normally do when I'm working on a, say, a, a little laptop, I've got a little uh, HP mini laptop, what I'll do is I'll turn the style sheets off and work quickly, and then every so often turn them back on to do the final tweaks. And we're done. Let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at what that map now looks like. I'll just minimize this, go to my maps folder, here we go, I'll click on the, the JPEG, there we go. You can see when we zoom in that you have an absolute stunning representation of the interior of the spaceship. Lovely shadowing, lovely strong wall effects, nice faded number patterns, beneath, uh, dots between the numbers. It's just, all in all, it's just a really good looking design. 